Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're looking at symbols. Now, symbols is a big element of portrayal, meaning the artists use symbols to help tell the story of their sitter. Remember, the sitter is the person in the portrait. Because the job of an artist isn't just to make a portrait look like somebody, it has to be about them too. They need to give the viewer a sliver of their character or their personality. Symbols are a great way to do that. So we're gonna look at symbols today. Let's get started. A symbol is often an object. It can also be an animal, a plant, or any material item. In a portrait, the symbol tells us information about the sitter. It can help us understand the sitter's profession, their accomplishments, or highlight other aspects of the sitter's story. One artist who mastered the use of symbols was Boris Chelyapin, also known as Mr. Time. In the three decades that he worked for Time magazine, he created 413 cover portraits. He was the artist the editors turned to when they needed a portrait quickly. He could create a portrait in as little as 12 hours. His paintings are filled with meaning in symbolism. For example, this portrait of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, we can see the White House in the background. Mrs. Kennedy famously brought an elegance and a glamour to the White House. Notice the baby carriage on the balcony. That's there to symbolize the birth of John F. Kennedy Jr. Look at how we can change a portrait's meaning just by swapping out the symbols in the background. For today's lesson, you need to think about what symbols will go into your portrait and illustrate at least one of those. I'm an artist, so I'm going to be illustrating one of my paintbrushes. The supplies you'll use for today's lesson are a pencil, some mixed media paper or watercolor paper, watercolors, wash or watercolor pencils, and some brushes. When you draw your object, look for the simple shapes. When you can identify or see the simple shapes in objects, there is simply nothing you can't draw. Once your objects are drawn, add some color. Notice in these objects, they all have a light source, meaning one side of the object is lighter than the other. Adding a light and dark side to the object will make it look more 3D or rounded. To check out our complete collection of Boris Chelyapin portraits, just go to our website at www.mpg.si.edu and under Portrait Search, type in Boris Chelyapin. Thanks so much for joining me for today's Open Studio lesson. I would love to see what your symbols look like. If you wouldn't mind posting them on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.